What's going on guys? Welcome back into the channel. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to utilize any roster that you want to within MLB The Show franchise mode. I was requested to make this video by some users and this is directly related to the video I just made on Madden on the same exact topic, and it's actually a more straightforward process here in MLB The Show. Realistically, this video is going to be very quick, very straightforward, because all you have to do is go to the franchise button within your game at the main menu, and you can hover over it, and in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, you'll see it says more options. So you're just gonna click that button. Then you're gonna hit start a new franchise from that point. So start a new franchise, and at that point, it will allow you to use current rosters, use default rosters, or load saved rosters. If you want to use a different roster, you can go through the similar process to Madden where you save whatever the roster is, and then you load it, and then use current roster because that's the roster you have loaded, but you really don't have to go through that entire process. Instead, the developers here were intelligent enough to give you a load saved rosters option where you can simply click that and pull from all of the saved data that you have on the game. Currently, I have no saved rosters, so let's go ahead and show you guys how you can download a community roster that you can then load into a franchise mode. So we do have to show you a couple of minor intricacies here as we go through this process. First and foremost, if you wanted to create or edit your own roster, you can do that by going up here into the top right hand corner of the screen. Let me go ahead and move my head out of the way real quick so you can see what I'm looking at. That is the little create circle up there. You click on the create circle and go to roster control. From here, you have the option to create a player, edit an existing player. You can do roster control, moving players up from the minor leagues to the major leagues on the roster within the game. And and then you can save the roster here as well. So that's how you can modify a roster on your own. And I'm moving my head out of the way again because there's another little intricacy here that if you wanted to load a roster, you can do that from file management from the little cog wheel in the top right hand corner. All you do there is click on that cog wheel, go to file management, and then you'll have the option to save, load, and delete a file within the game. So how do we therefore go about getting a roster from the share system? Well, in MLB The Show, it is called the vaults and that is where you're going to want to go to access other rosters that you can then save and load into a franchise or edit and then load into a franchise whatever you want to do with them you're going to go to the create button in the top right hand corner again and you just simply go to vaults as you can see popping up right there under vaults you will then see plenty of options 845 pages worth of rosters for you to be able to download there is a nice search system here so if there's a specific person's roster that you're searching for you can search in that way you can even sort these by most downloads highest ratings things like that and that will then allow you to by clicking on that roster and selecting which option you want to download that roster and have it available for use in the ways that I already showed you and that's literally everything you need to know for roster control and how to use whatever roster you want in an MLB the show franchise mode right now we're on MLB the show 22 but this this process has been the same and probably will be the same for years to come. Hopefully you found this information useful. This was Jacob Reed with all of your helpful gaming content and tips. As always, I hope that you guys will leave me some feedback down below, leaving a like on the video if it did help you or provided some useful information, subscribing to the channel for future helpful content such as this, and commenting down below if you found this video useful in any way. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video, and I hope you have a good one.